today i'm going to take up the topic of arrays and uh, we'll be doing the merging of arrays now now uh, merging of arrays will be taking up the technique of merge sort right so merging of arrays basically means when two arrays have been given and they the elements of both the arrays the two arrays have to be merged and put into a resultant array the third array right Now the simplest way of merging two arrays is to put the elements of the first array into the uh, third array and then the elements of the second array into the third array and then sort the third array, right? But we will be learning a technique called merge sort which is sorting while merging, right? So that is what we are going to learn here. The technique of merge sort which means sorting while merging right so here before uh, taking up the arrays and explaining how to do the merge sort the first thing that we should remember is while doing this uh, merge sort the existing arrays i mean the uh, initial arrays which have to be merged they have to be in some sort of uh, sorted form either in ascending or descending right so now i'm going to take up uh, arrays two arrays and put them into a third array and I'm just going to explain the concept of how this merging works and in my next session I'll be taking up the program for this and explaining the coding right so first of all what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take two arrays right uh, sorry I'm going to take two arrays here Let's say this is the first array and this is the second array, right? And uh, I'll make it a small array so that we can understand it. Four elements here, let's say, and this is one, two. Uh, let's just have three elements in this, right? This is array A and this is array B, fine. Now I'm going to have a third array here, which is which will be the merged array now the size of the merged array will be the addition of the size of both a and b so size of a plus size of b that is 1 2 3 4 is the size of a and 1 2 3 that is the size of b so 4 plus 3 7 so this should have 7 elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 right this is array c now the case which I am going to take up here is A is in ascending order, B is in ascending order and I want C also in ascending order, right? Okay, so here we are going to take up the case where everything is going to be in ascending order, right? And uh, let's put the elements here now. Let's say this has got uh, the elements 2, 5, 10 and 15 and here let me put it as 1 3 and 7 right okay now uh, let's understand how this merging works right here let's uh, have for this array a i'm going to take a variable i and put that as equal to 0 here i'm going to have it as j is equal to 0 and for C, I'm going to have it as M is equal to 0. Let's say the size of A, that is the size of A is 4 basically. So let's say that uh, the size of A is represented by a variable S. S is equal to 4, right? Okay. And the size of B is represented by another variable, let's say L. L is equal to 3, right? Okay. And the size of C will be S plus L, right? Okay. Uh, so, don't, we'll not go into the details of how to write the coding now. Just understand how it works first. Now, first of all, I is equal to 0 means it is pointing to this place, right? J is equal to 0 and here M is also equal to 0. Everything is here, fine. Now, this whole process of uh, merge sorting, this will be put into a for loop, right? I'll just write down that for loop so that you understand uh, what is the condition of the for loop. 
the for loop will be like this for i is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 right and then we'll put i less than s i less than s s is the size of this array a right and j less than l j less than l l is the size of this array b right okay and then uh, we will not do any incrementing or decrementing here after this the loop starts fine okay so basically what this means is the merging has to continue till we come to the end of at least one of these arrays right so if we finish off with array a then we come out of the loop right if we finish off with array b then again we come out of the loop so either either of the arrays what whenever we finish one of the arrays Right? Whenever we come to the end of one of these arrays, the loop should close. Right? Now, see, this is, this element, this 2, right? This is compared with 1. Fine? So, here I will write, it is something like this. A of i, right? is compared with b of j fine whichever element is less because we want the result in ascending order so a of i less than b of j whichever element is less that will be put into c right so in our case when we compare this 2 less than 1 so 1 is less right so 1 will be put inside this fine once you do that after that what we should do the next thing we should do is this m should be moved to this place right so we'll do a m plus plus here right before doing a m plus plus we should write here i'll write c of m is equal to b of j right once this is done after this you do a m plus plus and since you have put the element of this uh, array b here now this element is already put here so you should move j to this place right so j plus plus understood now after that now where is i i is still here but j is pointing to this place now so again this one a of i less than b of j so a0 is compared with j1 right so 2 is compared with 3 now when 2 is compared with 3 2 is less so this 2 is put here right so now what we will write c of m is equal to a of i this is what we will write right and this m plus plus and i plus plus will be done right why because now we have done see m plus plus will be done in all the cases because obviously the next time sorry the next time you will have to put it in the next place right in the array c so that will be done and basically here now i have put the element 2 from this array right so now this should be moved so you should write i plus plus now so when you put the element of array a it should be m plus plus and i plus plus when you put the element of array b it should be m plus plus and j plus plus now i is pointing to this and j is pointing to this fine so 5 is compared with 3 3 is less so 3 is put here fine this moves here and now this moves here fine j plus plus this condition fine next time 5 is compared with 7 5 is less so 5 is put here m plus plus i plus plus ok now see the condition which we had put for the for loop we are still inside that for loop i less than s and j less than l right what is i i is now 0 1 2 right and j is 0 1 2 again right what is the size of b the size of b is 3 fine the size of a is 4 
So this is 2 less than 4, i less than s is 2 less than 4 and j less than l is, j is now uh, 0, 1, 2, 2 less than 3. So the condition still holds good. So 10 is compared with 7, 7 is put here, right? Once you put this 7 here, now after that j++ will be done. When this j++ is done, j becomes equal to 3, fine? Now look at this condition, i less than s, s is still at 2, that's fine, right? So 2 is less than 4, fine? And j less than l, j is now 3, 3 less than 3. So 3 less than 3, that condition becomes false, right? So now you come out of the loop, fine? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many elements are left now? Ten and fifteen. Okay, fine. Okay. Now uh, this is done, right? So now once you come out of the loop, what we have to check is uh, which arrays elements are left out. So because when you come out of the loop, it means that you have finished at least with one array. Now, the one array that we have finished in our case is B. B is already done. 1, 3 and 7 has come here. Now, the elements of array A are left out. So, whatever elements of array A is left out, that will be put as it is because now there is no comparison and already this array A is in sorted order, ascending order. So, 10 and 15, they will be put like this, fine. And then the process of merging is over. So, now you are array C is the merged array and it is in the sorted form ascending order which we wanted right so this is basically the the logic for uh, merge sorting so the important things which you have to remember here is this loop right uh, which will uh, do the merging and what are the what is the condition inside that loop that i have shown here you have to compare this element with this element since we are doing an ascending order whichever element is less that has to be put and depending on if you are putting the element of A it will be M++ I++ here right and if you are putting the element of B it will be M++ and J++ right. So I hope you have understood the logic. Uh, of this merge sorting. So in my next session, I'll explain the coding for this. We'll do the program of merge sorting in which we'll be taking the same uh, uh, case of two ascending order arrays and merging them into a third array in ascending order, right? So with this, I end this session. Bye.